Alright, as I promised, I found my grandfather's photos from World War II in his um, MP unit uh, in the Airborne. So let's uh, start with the, this must be the group photo. It's all the MP personnel from the class, I guess. This is printed on heavy cardstock and it's been rolled up in a tube so it is very stiff and all curled up so I have soda cans um, holding it down. You can see a little closer here. Um, there's a commanding officer here. He's the only one out wearing a helmet or a helmet liner. And um, right next to him to the right is my grandfather. You see him there, and you see the, um, let's see how can I explain this, right here, his, um, Master Sergeant patches, is one right here. So, um, that's, that's my grandfather. I saw your doubters are doubting me, saying that, hey, he's not in the Airborne, well, there he is. And he's a little slouched down because he was tall. He was about 6'4", and that's pretty tall back in the 40s. Um, here's his dog right there. There's a, I guess the squadron, not squadron, but the group dog. And that's him in this group photo. He's the highest ranking non-com in this group here. The rest are all corporals and privates. So young guys there. Yeah, he would have been up there, but because he's a high ranking, he was down next to the the commander. This guy here has some looks like he's a sergeant too. But yep, yeah, he's a master sergeant there. And he's uh looks like a I wanna say corporal. Yeah, anyway, you can see it's also on his helmet there. He has some, some chevrons on his helmet. Now let's go to an actual another photo I have. It's him in his, his little squadron of MPs, his airborne MPs. That's him right there. You know, all decked out. Trooper gear. And that I look at this photo a lot, and that there on the shoulder is his M1 carbine, and he has the um, nice no three A4 sniper rifle. You can tell how long it is for one. And also, if you look on the shadow, right there. You'll see the scope. So yeah, he's got a sniper rifle. You see my grandfather's jump boots there. Now, he's got a carbine. And the old time right there. He's got his fighting knife on his belt there. Wearing heavy gloves too. Now he doesn't have a gun. I'll get back to him in a second. This guy, his, there's this carbine right there. You can see it under his arm. Looks like some uh, bolt cutters or something on the right side over there. Leg ties and his jump boots. Okay, this is what threw me off. You guys can help me out here. I'm assuming that these are. Uh, wire cutters for cutting fence but I don't see him having a rifle but if you look right here what the heck is that? I could not for life of me figure out what that was now it looks like an MG42 I'm not sure, I'm just guessing, but I can't tell what that is. So, either way, 
they all have this large pack right here. Each one of them has that large pack. I guess in it is um, supplies and whatnot when you, when you jump. But if you look at the shoulder, they got the same, um, same dragon patch. And also, on their jump jackets, they're all wearing their wings. See that? Right there. And right there. Look, there's wings. There's a good shot of the patch right there. Well, maybe you guys can help me out on what this piece is right here. I thought it was a barrel to a gun, but I'm not sure. This guy. He got suspenders, he got his... Yeah, he's all decked out. Pretty cool stuff. And in the back... It's like... There we go. For personal use only. December 7th, 1944. That's pretty cool. So I'm glad to share this with you guys and um, make some comments. My grandfather right there. I tell you he was a tall guy. Look at that. He has pistol belt, the first aid kit on there. Yeah. Well, tell me what you think, guys. Post a comment. There's this patch right there. And there's this other one right here. Alright, thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, send a comment. Thanks.